you hear, it's time to celebrate. Come on. I just want to celebrate another day of living. I just want to celebrate another day of life. I put my faith in the people, but the people. Another day of living. Yeah, I just want to celebrate another day of life. Had my hand on the dollar bill, but the dollar bill blew away. But the sun is shining down on me, and it's here to stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to celebrate. Yeah, yeah. Another day of living. Yeah, I just want to celebrate another day of living. We're celebrating pizza. <laughs> oh, okay. Because the pizza's ready. That's why we're celebrating. Just kidding. It's not my birthday. I just want to celebrate. I just want to celebrate. Oh, yeah. I just want to celebrate. Come on. I just want to celebrate. Time for the blues with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings the blues. Hey, everybody! I'm gonna lay down some blues. All sunshine and roses, no rain came my way. I said, All sunshine and roses, no rain came my way. Mm mm. My dad bought me ice cream. Oh, happy, 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 happy day. I ate up that ice cream. Got some on my face. That's right, right on my face. I said, I ate up that ice cream. Got some on my face. Got some on Table. Oh, happy, sticky, happy, sticky, happy, happy, sticky, happy place. Hey, man, what you doing? I'm singing the blues. <laughs> 
Oh, man, the blues is for singing when you feel sad. But I don't feel sad. Man, you got no business singing the blues. Here, let me help you out. Take this. Cool, ice cream. Thanks. Now give me back that ice cream. You took my ice cream. You took it from me. You took my ice cream. You took it away from me. Oh, yeah. Now you're getting it. Now listen up. But I'm still not sad. I'll just have a cookie. No, 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 man. You almost had it. Come on, like this. You took away my ice cream. You took it away from me. My sweet, creamy ice cream. I don't care about no cookie. Now try it again. My cookies and ice cream, they both gone away. That's right. Mm -hmm. Feel it. My cookies and ice cream, they both gone away. Oh, sweet, man. Sweet. But that don't bother me none. Me my freshly baked strudel. What? Strudel? Man, you can't say strudel in the blues. That don't even rhyme. Well, what about poodle? Because I got a poodle. Ha! Oh, no, don't tell me you're going to eat that poodle. No, I'm just going to pet him. Petting poodles makes me happy. <laughs> Sorry, man. You way too happy to sing the blues. Hello? Would you like to poker? Sure! Don't got no ice cream, no cookies, no strudel. Don't got no ice cream, no cookies, no strudel. But I'm your lady, your lady, your lady happy too. Just here with my poodle. That's right! Oh yeah, I'm your lady, your lady, your lady happy too. Just me and my poodle. This has been the Blues with Larry. Tune in next time to... Oh, never mind. Larry's not likely to be singing the blues again anytime soon. make a real doozy of a dish today, so pay close attention. Today's recipe will be real handy for all of you who love to take wilderness walks or go hiking. It's a trail mix! Alright then, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure you've got all of your ingredients. You'll need raisins, prunes, M&Ms, walnuts, pecans, peanuts, dried apricots, sunflower seeds, dried bananas, oatmeal, salt, pepper, papayas, mangoes, pineapple, peppercorns, and cayenne powder. Alright, once you have all of your ingredients, you're ready to make your trail mix. Your first step is to mix together the sunflower seeds and the fruit. But before you mix them all together, make sure you've purchased the sunflower seeds without the shells. It would be silly to mix all those shells together in your trail mix. So now that you have your fruit and sunflower seeds mixed together, you can add everything else to the mix. Oh, but before that, let's hold off on the peppercorns and the cayenne powder. You know, I find that some people are very sensitive to spicy foods. Why, just the other day I had lunch with this friend of mine who absolutely refused to eat the enchilada she'd ordered because they tasted too hot. I told her that enchiladas are inherently a spicy food. Inherently, she asked. What does that mean? Well, I told her it means that being spicy is part of what makes enchiladas enchiladas. Well, she said, I don't like it. 
Anyways, I digress. Where was I? Oh, yes, the trail mix. What? We're out of time? Oh, well, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Make sure you join me next time on Baking with Betty. So if you're ready to bake with Betty, look out, cause here she comes. I love that song. When did that come out? 1981? 82? 83? Hmm, you know, Jasper, I, I don't know, but it's a great tune. 84? Now, there's just something about the songs that came out of the 80s that just make me smile. 85? 86? Oh, me too. I love the 80s. It always makes me think of pizza. Now, 1987? Why, we used to go down to this place that had all the new video games, like Pac-Man, Galaga, Centipede. 88. It was probably Chuck E. Cheese's, wasn't it? 89? <laughs> As a matter of fact, it was. The next thing you're going to tell us is that it reminds you of a kid's place with robots on the stage. <laughs> Why, you're right. How did you know that? Uh, just a lucky guess. 
Uh, hey, Chucky. Uh, yeah, Jesper? Uh, besides music, what was one of your favorite things that came out of the 1980s? Hmm, came out of the 80s. Mm, you know, I'd have to say the dancing. I mean, there were so many great and just silly dances that came out of that period. But dancing was around a long time before the 80s. Yeah, and still proves to be a highlight of any time period. <laughs> hey, Chuck, uh, uh, don't we have a song about that? <laughs> Funny you should mention that, Pasquale. As a matter of fact, we do. You know what? One of the great joys in life is to come here day in and day out and see you guys having a great time. It makes my day over and over and over again. Hey, thanks for just being here. If you only knew how much it means to me and the band. <laughs> but, well, we're going to take a break now. Uh, tune up our instruments and rehearse a bit and all that and break out some more songs for y'all. But uh, y'all be cool and we'll see you in just a little while, okay? Bye! Bye! <laughs> so long! <laughs> bye bye! See y'all later. Bye bye, everybody. See y'all out on the prairie. C E C C E C C E C T V. As a public service, we would like to offer the following explanation of our newly adopted ratings code at Chuck E. Cheese's. C stands for cheesy and is humorous for all. VC is very cheesy and might be a little hard to handle. VVC means very, very cheesy. Use extreme caution. This could get messy.
VVC-17, so cheesy that those over 17 years of age are advised to avoid it because only kids can understand this kind of silliness. Please note that the above ratings are in compliance with the FCC, that's Federal Cheese Commission, and are required by all lawful purveyors of cheese. This has been a public service announcement. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. Looking for a really good way to make sure your kids are safe when they're having fun? Check the Cheese's Kid Check Stamp. A little stamp with a big benefit. They play, you relax. Another reason any day's a good day at Chuck E. Cheese's. Where a kid can be a kid.
Then 1930 came, that's when he got a name Some scientist named Clyde said what a shame Poor little Pluto, he's so much more than what we give him credit for He wants to be a planet, there's nothing left to be explored He's little but he shouldn't be ignored One telescope could settle up the score for poor little Pluto Poor Pluto His brothers and his sisters Still got the most acclaim But Pluto didn't care Since he received a little fame Some people started talking Maybe he's not a planet after all Then a few short years ago His ego took a blow Astronomers all voted And Pluto was demoted Poor little Pluto He's so much more than what we give him credit for He wants to be a planet There's nothing left to be explored He's little but he shouldn't be ignored One telescope could settle up this score For poor little Pluto He's furthest from the star Wishing he could somehow be like Mercury, Venus, Earth, or Mars Poor little Pluto He's so much more than what we give him credit for He wants to be a planet There's nothing left to be explored He's little but he should not be ignored One telescope could settle up the score Poor little Pluto He's so much more than what we give him credit for He wants to be a planet There's nothing left to be explored He's little but he should not be ignored One telescope will settle up the score For poor little Pluto Thank you, Jasper. Well, thanks, Chucky. You're welcome. That'll be five dollars. <laughs> Drumstick, Nick. Oh, you're right, Sally. <laughs> the cat! The cat in the hat! That's me, the cat. The cat in the hat. What was that crazy sound? We were drumming, cat. Only... I broke my drumstick. Oh, dear. Don't worry. I know a lot about sticks. I have sticks galore! Hockey stick! Lollipop stick, candlestick, joystick, walking stick, stick stickity pickup sticks. Whoa, that's a lot of sticks. But none of them work as a drumstick. Hmm. Well, let's not get stick stuck, Nick Nut. Let's go see my friend Betty the Beaver at Paddle Puddle Pond. She knows a lot about sticks, too. Maybe she can help. Yeah! Your mother will not mind at all if you do. Mom, can Sally and I go get a stick from Cat's friend Betty the Beaver? Betty the Beaver? Okay, as long as you stick around here when it's time for dinner. <laughs> we will. <laughs> we can go! We can go! I know, I know! To the thingamajigger! Are 
you ready? Yes, we are. Are you steady? Yes, we are. Are you sure you're ready to explore? Yes, we are. Then buckle up. <laughs> The thing of my jigger is up and away. Go, 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 go. On an adventure, we're flying with the cat in the hat today. We're off to see Betty to find a new stick. A drumstick for Nick, not too long or too thick. Here we go, 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 go. On an adventure, go, 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 go. Hello, folks. Mike Manley here with amazing stunt dog, Soup. Super Jasper! Today, Super Jasper is trying a stunt so amazing, a stunt so mystifying, even I can't fathom it. Super Jasper, tell us what you plan to do today. Well, Mike, I'm going over that waterfall in a barrel. Amazing! Simply amazing! Good luck, Super Jasper! Thanks, Mike. Well, here he goes, ladies and gentlemen. He is climbing into his barrel. Well, that barrel looks awfully small. I really don't see how he can fit in there. But he has done it. He is in that barrel, and now he is floating towards the waterfall. Oh, this is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. What will happen to Super Jasper? How will he survive a fall to the bottom of a waterfall? This is riveting stuff, folks. I'll say. Super Jasper, but I thought you were in that barrel. I am. Well, the stuffed me is in there. Do <laughs> you think I'm crazy? I'm not actually gonna go over those falls. Well, no, I... Look, everyone thought you... Thought I was what? They all thought you were going... Oh, never mind. Look, there I go. I'm going over in that barrel. Woohoo! Yippee! Oh, what an amazing feat of courage and skill. I'll say... Well? Well what? Aren't you gonna ask me? What? Oh yes. So, Super Jasper, now that a likeness of you has successfully gone over a waterfall in a barrel, what are you going to do next? I'm gonna go see what it looks like. Bye! Geronimo! Well, there you have it, folks. Oh, why do I bother? Do you think Jennings or Cop will get this kind of treatment? I'll be in my trailer. On the phone and see if that millionaire offer is still on the table. Your feet. Come on. 
Jumping up and down is really neat. <laughs> Jump high. Just how long we'll jump, well, no one knows. They don't! <laughs> I love to jump, 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 jump. Yeah, sing it! <laughs> I love to jump, 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 jump. Oh, yeah! I love to jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 jump. Come on, everybody's jumping. <laughs> I love to jump, 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 jump. Come on. Yeah. I love to jump, 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 jump. Oh, you don't know how much that means to me. Thank you. Uh, Jasper. Hang on a second, Chucky. I I'm thanking my fans. Thanks. Hey, Jasper. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Uh, Jasper? Thanks Hello. a lot, folks. Jasper, that's enough. Uh, Thank hello, you. Oh, Jasper. <laughs> you. Thank you. Anyone there? Uh, yeah, Jasper, what's going on? I, I think they get the point there, buddy. Oh, I don't know, Chuck. What if our guests don't know we're so grateful for them? Then what? If they don't know we love them, then- uh, Jasper, I know what you mean. I've spent a lot of time in the last few weeks trying to figure out a way to say thanks to our friends who come out to see us. A and I've got an idea. Really? Oh, yeah. oh really? Uh, what's that, oh, no. Munch? Yeah, Munch. How are we gonna make them feel special? Well, I thought we'd do a special song dedicated to our guests. You know, something that's just for them. That's a great idea, Munch. That's really special. And sweet. Folks, we know you've got busy lives and all, but you still take time to come out and see us. We just want to take a moment to say thanks. This song is just for you.
really do mean a lot to us, friends. Thanks for spending so much time here with us. We hope you have a great time hanging out here where a kid can be a kid. <laughs> I made that up. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. In the exotic and tropical jungle is a me, Pasquale the Chef. <laughs> Hello, kids. This is a pizza survivor. <laughs> and I'm a your polka and a pizza loving host with the most. Now, how do you play pizza survivor? Well, if you can survive not eating my delicious pepperoni pizza, then you are a champion and will win a great, a fabulous surprise. <laughs> so, uh, let's now meet our qualified and a hungry contestants, Jasper T. Jowls. Hey there, Pasquale. I enjoy the simple things in life, like pizza with extra cheese. But I'll save my appetite for the grand prize. Mr. Munch. I'm hungry. I, I mean, it's great to be here, Pasquale. So when do we eat? And uh, Helen the Henny. Hi, Pasquale. I always enjoy your pizza, but I already had an unlimited salad bar this morning. So grand prize, here I come. <laughs> it's a nice to meet you contestants. How you bake this delicious pizza just for you. <laughs> now, if this a hot, a steaming, delectable pizza with a pepperoni and a sizzling extra cheese tempts you, then, uh, well, you are out of the contest. Oh, I'm not hungry. Who said I was hungry? Uh, did he say extra cheese? Oh boy, this is gonna be tough. Oh dear, I should have gone back for thirds on the salad bar. Contestants, are you ready? Let's do it. I sure am. Uh-huh. Okay, then let's play Pizza Survivor. Huh? Where's the pizza? Hey, where did it go? Yeah, where did that pizza go? Munch, you've got a one-track mind. And definitely a one-track stomach. Well, Mr. Munch, you ate the pizza, so you are out of the contest. Goodbye. <laughs> I always wanted to say that. <laughs> I, I couldn't help it, I tell you. I was starving. Mama always said there'd be days like this. Hmm, I wonder what's for dinner. So, now we have two contestants left, and I baked a brand new delicious pepperoni pizza. Yeah, I wasn't surprised Munch went first, but I knew Helen would be a tough competitor. Good thing she loves pepperoni. I feel awful for Munch, but at least he got to eat. Oh, and that Jasper is a good dog, but fortunately for me, he's also one pup that never misses a meal. The grand prize has my name all over it. Well, it's been 12 days since Munch has left, and the competition is a-heating up. Oh, hungry yet? Nope, but the pizza is still steaming hot. Don't remind me. 
Any day, one of the contestants will a crack. Cheese pizza is pure delight, especially when I get Don't the big... sing that, Jasper. Oh. I'm starving. Sorry, Helen. Boy, I'm so hungry I could eat my hat. How could you resist the delicious steaming hot pizza with golden brown crust and mouth-watering cheese and pepperoni? Pardon? Oh, sorry, Jasper. I was just reading this book. It's a day 99 here, and it looks like a Jasper and a Helen won't even touch the pizza. I can't take this anymore. Out of my way, Helen. That pizza is mine. I don't think so, Jasper. Ladies first. <laughs> this is a finally hit, folks. Who's going to win the fabulous surprise? Say, Pasquale, what is this fabulous grand prize anyway? Yeah. Why, it's a delicious pepperoni pizza, baked by me, of course. A <laughs> uh, pizza? Say, Helen, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I sure am, Jasper. Hmm, these pizzas sure are good. They sure are, Jasper. Good game. Yeah, good game, Helen. Hey, how are you doing, Pasquale? <laughs> I'm doing great, guys. Well, that's it for Pizza Survivor. See you next time. Hmm, this hat tastes good with salt on it. <laughs>
C A E C T V U C A K E C Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to our fabulous showroom here at Chuck E. Cheese's. You picked a great time to visit because we've got an excellent show coming your way right now. So get ready because it is my great honor to introduce the star of our show. Here he is, Mr. Chuck E. Cheese. For story time with Chucky. Uh, that's me. <laughs> Today, I've got a very special story called The Tortoise and the Hare. It's a fun story about a race between a turtle and a rabbit. Now, some say it's a story about winning, but it's actually more about how you run the race using determination, hard work, and consistency to reach the finish line. It's a great story that you all probably already know. Are you ready for me to tell it? <laughs> all right, then. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a hare. Uh, now, not like a hare on your head, but like a hare in the garden. Let's just call him Mr. Rabbit. He used to brag all the time about how fast he can run and how nobody could ever beat him. Finally, one of his buddies, the tortoise, We'll call him Mr. Turtle, got fed up with Mr. Rabbit's bragging. All we hear about is how fast you are, and we all know that's true. But even you can be beaten, challenged Mr. Turtle. Mr. Rabbit laughed so loud that the whole neighborhood heard him. 
Are you saying that you can beat me in a race? Inquired Mr. Rabbit. We'll have to see about that. Mr. Rabbit had accepted Mr. Turtle's challenge. A course was set up, and the next morning at dawn, Mr. Rabbit and Mr. Turtle stood at the starting line. The sleepy Mr. Rabbit let out a big yawn as the meek Mr. Turtle trudged slowly off. Now, when the hare, I mean Mr. Rabbit, saw how painfully slow his rival was, he decided, half asleep on his feet, to have a quick nap. Take your time, he said. I'll snooze for a bit and catch up with you in a minute. Startled, he woke up from a fitful sleep and gazed round, looking for Mr. Turtle. But his competitor was only a short distance away, having barely covered a third of the course. Breathing a sigh of relief, Mr. Rabbit decided he might as well have breakfast too, so off he went to munch some cabbages he had noticed in a field nearby. He had plenty of time. Meanwhile, Mr. Turtle continued to trudge along, inching his way through the course with determination. After Mr. Rabbit's meal, his eyelids began to weigh heavily. With a careless glance toward Mr. Turtle, now halfway along the course, he decided to have another snooze before dashing toward the finish line. <laughs> the thought of speeding past Mr. Turtle to victory made him smile as he fell fast asleep. The sun started to sink below the horizon, and the tortoise, I mean Mr. Turtle, who had been plodding towards the winning post since morning, was scarcely a yard from the finish line. At that very point, Mr. Rabbit woke with a jolt. He could barely see Mr. Turtle as a speck in the distance, and away he dashed. He leapt and bounded at a great rate, his tongue hanging out the side of his mouth and gasping for breath. <sighs> Just a little more, and he'd be first at the finish. But Mr. Rabbit's last leap was just too late. Mr. Turtle had beaten him to the finish line. Oh, poor Mr. Rabbit. Tired and in disgrace, he slumped down beside the winner, who was silently smiling at him. Slowly does it every time. Well, kids, that wraps up another session of Story Time with Chucky. Thanks for listening. <laughs> I sure appreciate you kids hanging out with me today. I'll see you in a bit, okay? Story Time. Bye bye. for Chucky's next appearance. You won't want to miss it. Yeah! Oh, my. Are you eating something? But why is everyone asking me? Are you eating? Are you eating? Because we want to know. Yeah! I like to eat pizza, I like to eat pie And when I don't get pizza, you know what makes me cry I eat pizza every morning and pizza every night Thinking about pizza, you know it's out of sight I love to eat my pizza from my head down to my feet Cause for satisfying hunger, a pizza can't be beat Ho, ho Pizza, pizza Are you eating, are you eating Mr. Munch, Mr. Munch Eating pepperoni on a cheesy pizza For your lunch, for your lunch
If you like to eat pizza, let me hear you shout. Cause making people happy is what pizza's all about. Talking about pizza, talking about pie. I'm talking about my favorite food, and here's the reason why. Pizza is so tasty, pizza is so great. So grab yourself a pizza, it's not too late. Come on, come on. Let me hear you shout now. Are you eating? Are you eating? Mr. Munch, Mr. Munch, eating pepperoni on a cheesy pizza for your lunch, for your lunch. I like to eat pizza, I like to eat pie, and when I don't get pizza, you know it makes me cry. I eat pizza every morning and pizza every night. Thinking about pizza, you know it's out of sight. I love to eat my pizzas from my head down to my feet, cause for satisfying hunger, a pizza can't be beat. Oh, oh. Pizza, pizza, yeah. Are you eating, are you eating, Mr. Munch, Mr. Munch? Eating pepperoni on a cheesy pizza for your lunch, for your lunch. Are you eating, are you eating, Mr. Munch, Mr. Munch? Eating pepperoni on a cheesy pizza for your lunch, for your lunch.
Thanks, Bosch. Thank you very much. Hey, <laughs> you kids are awesome. C E C T E V. Coming sometime to a theater someplace. It's Rocky Pirates in the outfield. They were the worst team in the league until they got a little help. I wish our team could just win one game. We need some help. Someone really cool. Like, yeah, the Pirates. <coughs> Yes, the fun begins when Redbeard, Bluebeard, Blackbeard, and Rootbeard learn the sport of baseball. I ain't yet got the hang of this. What should I do? Steal the base, run! Steal the base, steal the base, run! Ah, well, okay. It's baseball like you've never seen it before. More thrills! Be right! Right. More spills. Arr! Strike three, you're out. More fun for the entire family. It's an action-packed extravaganza when wacky pirates in the outfield make up their own rules and set sail in search of adventure, glory, and baseball diamond dreams. <laughs> to victory! To Today on Animal Atlas, you'll need to get out your passports because we're headed to Asia. some of the most spectacular, beloved, and interesting animals on the planet. Some familiar, some not so much, but all have an interesting life story to tell. The first mystery to solve? What is Asia exactly? That's a question that requires a closer look at the seven continents, or great land masses, on Earth. Ready? When we look at a map of the world, it's clear what landmass defines North America. North America is home to some very particular and recognizable animal inhabitants, from the American black bear to the prairie dog, to the bison, the great shaggy symbol of the Wild West, sometimes nicknamed affectionately, though incorrectly, the buffalo. Right, Bill? South America is another distinct continental landmass and home to its own population of amazing animals, from a host of charming, and acrobatic New World monkeys to the regal giant anteater to the largest rodent in the world, the sturdy capybara. Kind of resembles a giant guinea pig, doesn't he? That's a compliment, really. Of course, a number of animals, notably a number of carnivorous predators, have moved north through Central America to straddle both continents, from the jaguar to the cougar, as well as some other animals like the infinitely interesting armadillo which is Spanish for little armored one. Or the handsome coati, a close relative of the raccoon. See the family resemblance?
the sheets Only brings exasperation It's time to walk the streets Smell the desperation At least there's pretty lights Although there's little variation It nullifies the night From overkill
Thank you. Woo! Chucky, that was a hot song. Great performance. Yeah, Great Chucky. Job, Chucky. You are the king. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, folks. Thanks. We'll be here all night. Actually, we're going to take a quick break and give the king a chance to rest. We'll see you soon. See you in just a bit. We'll see you later, everybody. All right, guys. We'll catch up with you later. I got to go bust out my belt bucket. <laughs> Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. There once was a boy who lived in a house, and the house sat under a tree. By the tree ran a fence that stretched far and wide around the gated community. Can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I kicked it into the tree. And my ball bounced up. And my ball dropped in to the gated community. Oh, the gated community is where we like to be. Everything's so lovely, oh, our hearts are filled with glee. And when you come to visit, you can stand outside and see what a lovely bunch we are in our gated unity. Um, can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I kicked it into the tree. And my ball bounced up. And my ball dropped in to 
the gated community. Oh, the gated community is where we like to be. Our clothes are never dirty and the lawns are always green. And when you come to visit, you can stand outside and see what a tiny bunch we are in our gated unity. The gated community, we think you will agree, is pleasantly devoid of unsightly screen and free. Free, free of day free. Songs with Larry. Oh, look! A ball! Tune in next time to hear Larry say... Thank you. Back in Napoli, dear Napoli, dear Napoli, and I seem to hear again in dreams a reverie, a sweet reverie. The mandolinas playing sweet, the pleasant fall of dancing feet. Oh, could I return? Oh, joy complete. Napoli, Napoli, Napoli. Zing, 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 boom, boom, I. Zing, 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 mandolinas gay. Zing, 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 boom, 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 I. Sing boom I la 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 ha sing sing I Ah my heart is back in Napoli Dear Napoli Dear Napoli And I seem to hear again in dreams a revelry a sweet revelry the mandolinas playing sweet The pleasant fall of dancing feet Oh, could I return, oh, joy complete Napoli, Napoli, Napoli Zing, 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 boom, boom, I Zing, 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 mandolinas gay Zing, 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 boom, 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 I La 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 ha 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 Zing boom hi La 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 ha 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 Zing zing hi Zing 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 boom boom hi Zing 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 mandolina skay Zing 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 boom 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 hi La 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 ha 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 Zing boom hi La 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 ha 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 Zing zing hi La 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 ha 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 Zing zing hi La 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 ha 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 Folks, Helen Henny. Turn it inside out so I can see the part of you that's drifting over me. And when I wake your, you're never there. And when I sleep your, you're everywhere. You're everywhere. Sure. Thank you. 
understand the beauty that's within. It's now that we begin. You've always liked my way. I hope there never comes a day. No matter where I go, I always feel you so. Cause you're Exciting, is it? Yeah. yeah! The only problem is I'm not sure what guitar to play. It don't matter. My Les Paul or my Strat? It don't matter. My Telly or my 339? It don't matter. Acoustic or electric? It, it, it don't, don't matter. matter. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> You're setting up the song. Ain't nothing wrong with that.
That's awesome, you guys. Kids, we're gonna take a short break. Thanks for letting us perform for you. And better yet, thanks for coming to my place today. We'll see you soon. Bye. Mike Manley here, and we've just received confirmation that packages of Minute Maid juice boxes and cartons will be boasting a coupon good for 10 free game tokens with any food purchase. Why, this is unbelievable! We've got our field reporter, Wick Ladderback, on the story. Let's go to him now, Wick. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah, so true, so true. What? Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love it, too. <laughs> What's that? Huh? Oh, of course, I mean, this stuff is great. If you buy it right now, you get a coupon good for 10 free game tokens with any food purchase. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why we're here right now. Doing a story on it. Hey, we gotta do this thing or we're just gonna sit around drinking Minute Maid all day? <laughs> uh, apparently we're having some technical difficulties. We'll check back with Wick in just a little bit. Until then, I'm Mike Manley reminding you to look for those specially marked packages of Minute Maid juice boxes and cartons. Uh, oh, I'm told this also includes specially marked boxes of Minute Maid coolers, fruit balls, and just 10 pouches. 10 free tokens with any food purchase. <laughs> That's simply amazing. Now we take you back to your regularly scheduled program. Hey, kids. Do you love seeing Chuck E. Cheese live and in person? Well, do you want to dance and sing with your favorite mouse? Well, we've got some great news. Chuck E. Cheese will be performing for you soon. Check out the live show performance schedule and your location for Chucky's next appearance. You won't want to miss it. Yeah! Right. 
Moms and dads, boys and girls, don't look now, but the master of time travel has now entered the building. Here he is, once again, for your entertainment pleasure, Chuck E. Cheese. One day, when a king rode at lunchtime, I heard a funny horse went up to the backyard to find out there was one of those ratty boys up there with my neighbor called Peter and a bunch capacity. He told me he built a time machine like one in a film I see. Yeah. He said, I've been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but they lived underwater. And your great, great, great granddaughter is doing fine, doing fine. He took me to the future and the flux thing, and I saw everything. Boy bands, and another one, and another one, and another one. Girls there with round hair like Star Wars, load up on the floor. We drove around. Just changed, but they lived underwater. And your great, great, great granddaughter is doing fine, doing fine. I took a trip to the year 3000. This song had gone multi platinum. Everybody bought a seven album, it had outsold Kelly Clarkson. I took a trip to the year 3000. This song had gone multi platinum. Everybody bought a seven album. Not much has changed, but they lived underwater. And your great, great, great granddaughter is doing fine, doing fine. Yeah. He said, I've been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but they lived underwater. And your great. Chucky? Kids, Marvin is our resident technology guru. Uh, now, what that means is that we ask Marvin to stay on top of current trends in technology to alert us to anything new and exciting that we could use in our show. Correct you are, Chucky. And I have some amazing new technology to share with you. <laughs> wow, that sounds very exciting. I can't wait to hear. Well, Chucky, my first amazing technological breakthrough is this device that allows people to talk to each other over long distances. Uh-huh. It's a handheld device that can be installed in your home. It has a numerical pad whereby you can dial a distinct numerical sequence for any individual. This numerical sequence will initiate a signal to a specific device on the network across literally thousands of miles in an instant. What do you mean, Marvin? Uh, like a telephone? It's called a telephone. Oh, wait a minute. 
You've heard of it? Marvin, the telephone was invented over 100 years ago. Really? Yes, by Alexander Graham Bell. You're sure about that, Chucky? You know, the first message was, Watson, come here, I need you. Huh. Well, I just now heard about it. Anyway, my next amazing technological advancement is from the world of cyberspace. Hmm, this sounds a little more promising. <laughs> oh, it is, Chucky. You've heard of these devices called computers, right? Yes. Well, what if I told you that I had found a way to interconnect all computers in the world to a common network? And the access to this network meant you could send letters to people thousands of miles away via a delivery process called... Email? Email. Uh, wait. You've heard of that, too? Uh, Marvin, while email is relatively more recent than the telephone, it is still decades-old technology. Really? <laughs> yes, Marvin. Are you sure about that? Yes. Well, I just heard about it. Anyway, I have one more amazing technological breakthrough that I'm sure you've never heard of. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. You've heard of television, right? Yes, I've heard of television. That is not new technology. <laughs> I know that. Everyone knows that, Chucky. But I have found a completely new version of television that will revolutionize the world and how we get information. I'm all ears. Okay. Remember when I was talking about email earlier? Well, email is possible because of this thing called the Internet. Using the Internet and video camera technology, I have discovered a way to broadcast any video to literally anywhere in the entire world instantly for viewing by anyone, anywhere! Um... Now, now, bear with me, Chucky. This sounds incredibly amazing, but it really does work! Using a video device and a computer, I am able to upload any video to the internet and share it with my friends. It's called YouTube! Marvin, YouTube is amazing, but it's not that new of a technology. <laughs> I have all kinds of videos up on YouTube. Really? Absolutely. You sure about that? <laughs> yes, I'm very sure. Well... I just found out about it. So, anyway, I need to get going, Chucky. I have a tip that someone has invented a brand new technology that will allow someone to listen to music over the internet without the use of a radio. <laughs> Amazing! Marvin? Oh, no.
Hola amigos, muchas gracias. Estamos alegres, usted estamos aquí. Gracias por darnos una parte de su día. Esperamos que ustedes tengan mucho de diversión. Susténgalo. Uh, ¿Por qué estamos hablando español? ¿Por qué? Es diversión. Yeah, but uh, don't we uh, usually speak English? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, we do usually yeah. speak English. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hey, kids, let's have some more fun singing songs, shall we? Yeah, let's do something that really moves. Something that sounds a little like this? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Great, everyone. We'll be right back with some more music in just a few minutes. Showing off. 
That's awful, Uma. We're sorry. Oh, I'm all right, mateys. Shankly will have me good as new in no time. It's gonna take a while to get you fixed up here, Uma. At least a week. A week? Fair go. I can't be off my feet for that long. What were you doing to bust yourself up like this anyway? Cleaning an entire clan of barracudas? Don't ask. I'll have to order a replacement part. And it'll take some time for it to get here to Safe Harbor. I've got a whole stack of things to do. Equipment to maintain, reefs to scrub. Sorry, there'll be none of that kind of thing for you for a while. Poor Uma. I know, she hates it when she can't work. Hey dudes, Charlie Rocket here. Spring's a great time of year. Everything is new and fresh. It's a great time to do a little cleaning, throw out things you don't need, and get organized. I mean, when else can you do a little spring cleaning? <laughs> spring is also the time that we celebrate Earth Day. It's a time when we are reminded that we should keep our planet clean and green. Think of it as spring cleaning for planet Earth. You can help by picking up after yourselves and making sure that all of your trash is disposed of properly. Another thing you can do is help with recycling. Recycling means taking old stuff and making it into something new. Like old aluminum cans can be collected, oops, uh, and made into new cans, kind of like the ones I just knocked over. And paper can be recycled into new things like newspaper. Get it? Newspaper? New paper? <laughs> uh, anyways, remember, recycling saves energy and resources. So this spring, let's all do our part to help with the spring cleaning. <laughs> Let's have some fun. 
take me to Chucky Town? Won't you take me to Chucky Town? Won't you take me to
ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mike Manley here with outrageous stunt dog, Super Jasper. And today, Super Jasper is going to use his super duper powers to do the impossible. That's right. This will be the ultimate test of Super Jasper's tremendous willpower. Ooh, this is exciting. Super Jasper will be locked inside this cage where there will be no escape. And then we will put into the cage one very monstrous meatloaf dinner with all the trimmings. The question is, can Super Jasper resist the temptation for one full minute, or will he lose control and devour the food? Super Jasper, any words for our audience? Yeah, don't try this at home. Only a professional such as myself should try to resist the temptations of such a delicious home-cooked meal. Let's do it! All right, the timer has started and here comes the food. Look at Super Jasper eyeing up that delicious meatloaf. What a daredevil, he's flirting with danger, tempting himself with a couple of sniffs. Oh, how can he resist that delicious meatloaf? Mmm, smothered in rich, thick gravy. And how will he resist these wonderful, fluffy mashed potatoes just dripping with butter? Oh, mashed potatoes. And what about these delectable, steaming, hot ears corn. of corn? Oh, man, I love corn. What nerves of steel! Not even this big, jiggly bowl of strawberry jello will cause Super oh. Jasper to give in. Stop, you're torturing me! Yes, Super Jasper is using all his strength to hold out. But can he resist this lip-smacking rich banana cream pie? I can't take it! I can't take it! Yes, Super Jasper only has seconds to go. Will he be able to resist that yummy meal seasoned to absolute heavenly perfection? Oh, the pressure! The pressure! And now the final seconds. Three, two... I can't fight it! I don't one. care! I give up! Oh! Super Jasper, you've done it! You have resisted the temptation! How does it feel to once again do the impossible? And what are you going to do next? Well, I'm going to Chuck E. Cheese's. Of course. I knew he was going to say that. today. Come on, Wig, turn off your tail and get to bed. We've got a lot to do tomorrow. Yeah, get up early, make the beds, worry about what Malto's made for breakfast. Ugh, daytime's such a drag. Sometimes I wish it would just stay night forever. <sighs> well, Gorga, it's six o'clock in the morning, the start of another bright, beautiful day. Daytime. It's night! All right!
CECTV CECTV Hey, folks. Uh, how's everyone doing? <laughs> Yes, I guess so you're wondering why I'm out of here all alone. <laughs> well, I really want to sing my song for you, and I was getting a bit worried that Chuck wasn't going to let me fit it into the show. So, I am here all alone on a stage to sing my song for you. <coughs> Actually, you're not out here alone. Uh, that's right, you're not. Uh, yeah, we're all here. Over here? Uh, oh, oh, all right. <laughs> well, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, Pasquale. Let's do your song. Hit it! <laughs> Come on back and I listen to me do it again, eh? <laughs> Very good, Pasquale. You sounded great. That was good. That was wonderful. Oh, man, Pasquale, I gotta hand it to you. That was something real special. <laughs> hey, uh, since you guys liked it so much, I'm gonna sing it again. Don't push your luck. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a time for us to take a break. <laughs> See you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hold my calls, I'll be in my train. That wasn't bad for a chef. We'll see you folks in just a little while. Bye-bye.
Gregory! The mongery! Wake up, lazy lumps! What is it, Buzz? The BB's hive is full of honey, and we're going to take it. Great idea! But the BB hive is way up in a tree. Oh, yeah, how can we get to it? Go! Let's try plan BB. Oh, oh. This is some great plan, boss. Uh, yeah, super great. Oh, oh. Of course. What did you expect? <laughs> Dressed like a flower, we're sure to attract a BB. <laughs> now we just have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait for what? You know, Munch, I don't know if you've noticed, but it's fairly easy to get a pizza around here. Yeah, I could have whipped one up in no time. I am kind of hungry. <laughs> oh, Munch. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Munch, you've got a one-track mind. And a one-track stomach. I know. <laughs> ah, no worries, Munch. That's what being at my place is all about. Pizza and games and fun. Yeah! <laughs> A special day. Me and my friends are making plans to go out and play. When I wake up, I'm excited because a new day's waiting for me. I'm not gonna waste it being sad about silly things I can't see. No, you won't catch me frowning with tears in my eyes. Be here just about seven o'clock. At least I think it's seven o'clock. 
When we get together, I know we're gonna make this place rock. <laughs> what do you say we get your friends together with mine? Come on! We'll get this party rolling and all have a real good time. Alright! Don't wait a minute, don't hesitate. I'm heading for Chucky's and I won't be late. Happy people, come along with me. for being here, everybody. We love that you choose to spend time with us. We'll be back in a few minutes to sing some more great tunes. Until then, have fun right here at Chucky's Place. C-C-T-V